Welcome to my series introducing you to characters we will hopefully meet in House of the Dragon. Today, I want to talk about a favorite in the A Song of Ice and Fire community, Nettles. Who, if she isn't in the show, I have no idea what HBO is doing at this point. And neither do they. A skinny brown girl on a skinny brown dragon. Writings of Munkin. She is a common thing, with the stink of sorcery upon her. Renera Targaryen. Nettle's nickname Nettie was born a bastard to a dockside whore in 113 AC on Driftmar, an island located in the Crownlands and controlled by House Velaryon. At Nettle's birth, King Viserys I Targaryen had been sitting the Iron Throne for almost a decade. From the very kind, might I add, people that described her, we know that Nettle's was very skinny, had brown skin, brown eyes, black hair, her teeth were crooked, and supposedly her nose was scarred from being slit from stealing. My favorite description of her is from an archmaester who wrote, Nor could Nettie truly be called pretty. Like, dang dude. Though not considered pretty by traditional Westerosi standards, she isn't ever described as ugly. Skinny brown girl seems to be what the maesters like to call her. Nettles is described as fearless and foul-mouthed, which is a woman after my own heart. While Nettles was prepared to fight to survive, she didn't necessarily get the same joy others might feel in killing which, unfortunately, Nettles did have to fight to survive. From a young age, Nettles grew up homeless and motherless with no money of her own on Driftmark. She spent her youth and before the events of Dance of the Dragons in Spice Town and Hall, two towns located on the island, making her own way on her own. In order to survive in these towns, it is claimed she, quote, surrendered her innocence by the time she hit puberty or before for a crust of bread or half a grout. Regardless, she survived, and despite growing up in terrible circumstances, Nettle's fearlessness and intellect would earn her the greatest gift imaginable, and she would become invaluable during the Dance of the Dragons. Now from here, I will be talking about potential spoilers for House of the Dragon and lore that will most likely likely be in the show. I won't spoil the entire war, but this part they might want to surprise non-readers with. So if you're staying beyond this point, spoilers for House of the Dragon. If you've read Fire and Blood or World of Ice and Fire, you already know all this stuff, so it's not spoilers for you. So Nettles was a dragon seed, which makes her an extra level of special in the World of Ice and Fire. Being a dragon seed becomes very important during the Dance of the Dragons when the Blacks, Rhaenyra the First Targaryen, and the Greens, Aegon the Second Targaryen, we're battling it out for the Iron Throne, with Aegon II obviously being in the wrong and House Hightower proving just how awful they are once again. What a terrible house. I'd be ashamed to be a part of it. Rhaenyra's side, the Blacks had more dragons than they did Targaryens to ride them, and Rhaenyra's son became convinced if they could get more riders for their dragons, they could have a real advantage over Aegon II and the Greens. Because they were short on legit Targaryens, they called out for dragon seeds to come forward and try to tame any of the ownerless dragons. Dragon seeds were considered bastards of Valerian descent, typically with Targaryen or Valarian blood in them, though that isn't a hundred percent true. It is claimed the baseborn people that could tame a dragon had to have some Valarian blood in them to make them special and able to do so. So were they really dragon seeds? Did they really have Valarian descent? Or was it just the Targaryens and Valarians way of trying to keep dragon taming and riding a, a sacred special thing just to their bloodline? If Nettles was the daughter of a dockside whore in Driftmark, there is a strong possibility that she was the product of some Targaryen or Valarian having some fun. But she could also have no Valarian blood in her. Regardless of how they claim Nettles had the ability to tame a dragon, the courage was all her. The girl answered the call for people to come forward to try to tame the Greens' unclaimed dragons, and at 16 years old, Nettles used both persistence and cunning to tame a small brown dragon called Sheepstealer that, you guessed it, just loved eating sheep. Sheepstealer was an ugly, mud-brown wild dragon that lived on Dragonstone, and while he could be a bit temperamental, he generally 
actually left people and other animals alone and just went after those tasty, tasty sheep. But that was when people left him alone. When the call came for taming the dragons, many attempted to ride him, and that's when his temper flared. Though you can't really blame the people that attempted to ride them. It makes sense as anyone could master a dragon was promised wealth, lands, and a knighthood. That could change someone's life in a moment. Which resulted in many that knew they didn't have any Valerian blood in them trying as well. Unfortunately, Sheep Stealer killed more people attempting to claim him than any of the other three unclaimed dragons combined. Sheep Stealer even tore off a dude's arm that claimed to be descended from Magor the First, which is just a, a wonderful boast. Like, do you want everyone to hate you in the room in like two seconds? Go read the room, dude. Nettles didn't meet the same fate as the other would-be dragon riders as she was very clever. Nettles gave the dragon a freshly killed sheep every single morning. This was for a twofold reason. First, dragons are generally easier to control when they are fed. Think of people you know that get hangry. Scary, right? Second, she wanted the dragon to associate her coming with him getting his favorite type of food and just get accustomed to her presence. It worked, and as she kept feeding him freshly killed sheep, the brown dragon became more comfortable with the girl around. From there, she was able to mount Sheep Stealer and claim him as her own. She became the only person to ever tame Sheep Stealer and ride him. And of course, because the maesters are always assholes, seriously, it's claimed that the sheep she used to feed Sheep Stealer to bind him to her were acquired through her fucking shepherds because she had no money of her own. Which to me is so impressive that she used the only thing she had to be the smartest person around and claim a dragon that no one else could. From there, Nettles would help the Blacks, and Daemon Targaryen if you know what I mean, fighting the Greens. Her fearlessness would never be in doubt throughout the war, but she wouldn't always celebrate every victory. And I know there are plenty of theories out there what happened to Nettles, and I'd love to make videos on them to discuss what happened and all the fun possibilities. My quick thoughts on her? Fire Witch. A hundred percent. You know it, I know it. I'm also really looking forward to the show answering where she went after Renera went bananas, because you know HBO doesn't have any ability to be subtle. They'll give us a definitive answer. It'll be like in some cutesy little epilogue. But what are your thoughts on Nettles? Are you excited to see her? Who do you think should play her? I know who I personally want, but I don't want to share it, because I'll be laughed at. So yeah, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and summon the dead.